It's an 11 mile stretch and there's something called the Highway Avalanche Hazard Index. That's a calculation you can make based on frequency and size of paths, number of paths, traffic count. And there are three highways in the U.S. that are rated very high on that scale. And this is one of the three. There's over 60 avalanche paths in that 11 mile stretch. The biggest ones fall 3,000 vertical feet. And on an average winter, we'll have anywhere from 30 to 50 large avalanches impact the highway. Yeah, so the snowpack evolves in different ways every winter with layers within the snowpack that are stronger and weaker. And our job is to evaluate how much stress that snowpack can handle as we go through the winter. And so a lot of the obvious stresses are snow, wind, rain, things like that, and the public understands that. But in the spring, heat can be a big stressor on the snowpack. So contrary to the way it seems, a perfect sunny spring day, you can have very large destructive avalanches driven by heat. And I think the biggest thing is if you are ever involved in an avalanche on the highway, please stay in your car because you'll be pretty good in your car, but if you get out and are pedestrian now, you're at a much higher risk.